Hey guys, Jeff here. Dice setters. Well, I, I thought I was recording, but I guess I wasn't. <laughs> so anyhow, this is my result. I had uh, two for the come outs, and then I had one, two, three, four, five. I had eight numbers that came up. I also had a uh, two twos that showed up, and that's what we're trying for. We're trying to hit five and take our money down because we believe in the short game. The dice set I'm using is a two three six five, and we are putting a spin on it. This is the all sixes and eights. We're going to see what happens. Start off with an easy six. A hard eight. Another hard eight. Easy six. Bye. It was a seven. So, if you don't count your come out rolls, one, two, three, four, five, five times, five times out. Let's try it again. I think we can go. 
better than that. That one just kind of out of the grip. My grip's not the best today. The palms are sweaty. I like my mom's spaghetti. However, that uh, that song goes. I'm going to add an extra finger in this for rolling purposes. Two, three, six, five. And we have a five. Four. If I mess up the landing on that one. I'm trying to get right to that edge, but that one, that one I hit the edge. That one I did get close enough to the edge. Six. Easy six. Six, easy six. Again, I missed my landing. I should have been closer. At least this throw is uh, pretty forgiving. Not like other ones that you miss it and you, uh... yes, it doesn't forgive you at all. You get that nasty number that you weren't looking for. Nine. Easy six. Well, that one scared me as far as how how far it wandered. Well. Missed the landing on that one. <laughs> this is when you say, same guys. Do, uh, do the rest of you guys, when you toss it off the table, do you say the same dice? Or does it, does it bother you? Let me know in the comments. Oh, look at that. Seven. One, 
four, five, six. Six. And one junk one. So still again, if you were wrong, you do it at five, four or five, you'd be set, you'd be okay. Take your money off. Um, and this roll is, uh, this roll is kind of cool. And the reason why is because if it pitches one way or the other, it's not going to end up to be a seven. So like if it rolled one way, one direction, or one way, one direction, after it hits, it's not going to be a seven. Or if it were to completely go around, it's not going to be a seven. Now if one opens up this way, it will be. But if both of them open up, it'll be a five. And same again. That's a nine. So the only way you'd really have close to having a, a seven is this way. It's not like you're going to pitch it one direction and it's going to be a, a seven. Um, and then the way I was gripping it, I tried it first with three fingers and then uh, my ring finger holding on the edge of it. The second time I rolled I did uh, well, three fingers with my pinky holding the end of it and giving it a slight turn. Another way I saw it, I saw it rolled is uh, is on edge. He called it the Yuri grip. And for the life of me, I don't know if it's because I have mechanics hands or what, I just can't do it. So. Don't be, you know, if you can't do a certain roll, go off to another roll. There's plenty of rolls out there. But this one here is a 2, 3, 6, 5. Um, as you saw, I did five times. So you could have your money out there, five, you know, for five rolls and then take it back down. Short game's what we're looking for. Nothing, you know, no reason to, to put it out there any longer than you have to. The first time I was uh, two away on the tall. I had an 8, 9, 10. I needed an 11 and a 12. But uh, it seems like it works, you know. It's uh, easy to throw. Um, I still like my 5, 1 better, but I know you guys wanted some uh, some different, uh, different dice sets. So there goes that one. Again, that was a 2, 3, 6, 5. Have a great one, guys. Like, share, subscribe.